Hi everybody, you're very welcome to the presentation presented by Horizon Preservation. Um, today we'll be discussing Horizon Gap. Um, from the slides that we have in front of us here, we can see that these properties clearly have damp problems. Um, we can see how far the damp was risen up in these walls by the tide mark. Um, as the water is rising up to the walls, it will bring with it salt contaminants. Um, these contaminants come from the ground and they're naturally occurring and um, nitrates and chlorides and um, as they evaporate out of the structure of the building they leave a white chalk like substance um, and this substance is known as salts the hygroscopic and they can draw moisture to them and um, if we move on to the outside of the building we can actually see more clearly these white salts and um, this is a solid wall and it's very clear to see how high the water has come up and as the salts are evaporating where the deposits are being left on the wall. So that's why it's necessary to remove the plaster and um, because the plaster becomes contaminated, becomes very laden down with these salts and if the plaster wasn't to be taken off the walls you would always have a situation that all the available moisture within the building is going to be drawn to this uh, hygroscopic salts within the walls. Um, why do we get rising damp? There's a number of reasons, mostly building defects. and um, There might never have been a damp proof course installed. Um, high ground levels might have been installed. Um, they might have rendered um, plastering down over and bridging the damp proof course. Um, if you have retrofitted solid floors, they might have been installed incorrectly and this would lead to bridging again of the damp proof course. And in the construction of the building, it may have been that the cavity walls got filled with um, mortar and debris, and this also will cause um, breaching of the damp proof course. So, in order to treat this effectively, what we must do then is to inject a new damp proof course. Drilling is every 150 millimeters um, apart, and we drill 150 millimeters off the ground. Um, the purpose for these um, drill holes is to allow us then to go on and start injecting with a damp proof course. This damp proof course is a silicon based course which will spread out within the structure of the wall effectively creating um, a new damp proof course and stopping any uh, penetration of damp from the ground up. And the system then is finished by um, after we remove the plaster we replaster using sand and cement and it's a special system where we have to treat the plaster with a salt inhibitor. Um, the salt inhibitor um, ensures that if there are any remaining salts within the depth of the wall that they don't have the ability to come out um, through the wall and affect the new plaster. 